Welcome, 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 everyone. Once again, this is Chef SK. I'm your host, Sean Kelly, and we're hopping right out the ocean today with some monkfish. My first seafood episode, super excited to show you some crispy salmon skin, wild rice, a little bit of pickled vegetables, a nice cream sauce with a tiny tamari and Dijon, and some wonderful monkfish. Let's get to it. You could call it what you want, a poor man's lobster, but this is monkfish. I actually happen to like it even better than lobster. Has a nice firm texture, not as firm as say a swordfish, but it grills up really nice in the pan. We're gonna set this up with about a 15 minute marinade. I'm going back with my koji rice paste, which is the fermented soybeans, and that good bacteria is gonna bring out that umami out of this fish. So, we're gonna go down with some spices as well. We got some garlic, some chili powder, onion powder, salt and pepper as always, and we'll be doing a little bit of um, ground thyme as well. So let's go down with a, just about a tablespoon of our rice paste here. Once again, I've used this on um, vegetables, all different kinds of meats. You could actually dry age steaks with it. Yeah, you could already smell a little, a little bit of stank on here. We're gonna be setting this up with a nice little cream sauce, uh, very, very quick. So we got a little bit of heavy cream that we'll put on in just a minute, uh, some butter, a little bit of Dijon, and tamari. So that's gonna finish the whole dish, bring the rice together, and we'll fold in some uh, special ingredients at the end. All right, so we got our rice paste. We'll go, not too much salt, because this is a salt ferment, so we'll, uh, we'll dab a little bit more in at the end. Always pepper. On there. On this side here, I do have a little bit of raw sugar. We have a little white vinegar, and I have a tiny bit of fish sauce. I'm going to be cutting some of these um, two color zucchini I have here and the carrots, and we're going to be pickling those as something fresh for the end of the plate there. Let's go a little chili powder. Only about 15 minutes on a marinade when you're using uh, the monk fish. A little onion. We'll sweat a little garlic down at the end with a tiny bit of butter, and then we finish with our cream sauce. All right, got this all down. I'll get my hands rinsed, and we're gonna get to uh, pickling some of these veggies. All right, lip smacking, little tang, little fresh on your plate. So we went with um, just a few carrots here, and I got two different color squashes, yellow and green. We're gonna cut these uh, carrots probably in half, go long ways, and just a, uh, a simple pickle. Tie in that tamari that we have in our cream sauce. We use a little bit of fish sauce here. Tiny, tiny bit of salt, little raw sugar, pepper, tiny bit of uh, white vinegar. So, in half once with these carrots. And half again. I always like something a little nice and fresh on the plate. It's gonna have a little bit of butter, a little bit of cream sauce, not overly heavy, but this adds a nice little crunch as well. And we plate this right next to the side of the rice. The rice we're gonna show you in a minute, we, uh, we really take you to the ocean. We got a little uh, crispy salmon skin that I did. And then we also are gonna be putting in some of those seaweed snacks that you see in the store for that little bit of a crunch. And then we fold it in with a little bit of that cream sauce. All right, in half, like I said, with these carrots. Probably get them another few times or so. You can mandolin these, do these um, super thin. I actually have a, uh, a vegan episode coming up where I'm gonna be uh, pickling some of these and making them taste like the lox. So, bring it back a little bit of uh, the ocean feel. This one's a really fun one for me. I got some good friends coming out today. And then, uh, yeah, a few more episodes left. We got some fun surprises for you. Kind of a snack episode coming, drink episode coming, and then a uh, couple vegan ones, so should be good. Now we're about finished up with these carrots here. We'll start dicing our squash. Fish sauce is a thing for me. I'll show that in my, one of my paellas. I started substituting that out for um, for just regular soy sauce. And I want to show a little bit sweeter with the uh, tamari, so gotta pull out all the tricks. 
want this to sit about 20 minutes before the meal as well. You could leave this, um, you could leave this overnight here, but um, you would want to hit it with a little bit more salt and pepper when you take it out next day. And I went with this because I wanted a, uh, a little softer texture to go, the, to go with the crunch of the carrots. I think it's gonna work well. All right, little uh, shards of our veggies over here. It's time to roll these up. Got your white vinegar down. Do a tiny hit of that fish sauce there. A little bit of our raw sugar. Might have to add a little bit of sugar towards the end, but we're gonna see how this sets up uh, before we put our monkfish down. Always pepper. I know my guests Marie and Marie are a little adventurous, so I might hit this with a little bit more fish sauce too at the end. All right, good and good. In the fridge with this one here, we're gonna start our cream sauce, throw our monkfish down, and uh, introduce you to some of my people. All right, time to work this stove. You're gonna have your three pans out. Got a little pot right here for our cream sauce that we'll be putting down. I'm gonna show you how I fold in some of the salmon skin and the seaweed into my uh, long brown rice that I'll have back here. And we're gonna throw down this uh, marinated monkfish that we got for you. So let's just do a little pat of butter first. This will be down for our rice in the back. Let's put a little bit of butter down for your monkfish. We're gonna go about a cup of heavy cream in your little saute pan. This one's real nice, just trying to add an umami, a little bit of a uh, little bit of a fishy taste on top of that monk fish. We're gonna go with a little tamari, so a little bit of a sweeter soy sauce. Just want to dry out some flavor from these fish flakes here. I was doing salmon the other night in the air fryer and uh, did the skin separate actually. We got a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder here, and a tiny dollop of uh, Dijon just for a little bit more tang. I was going to go with a little bit of lime juice, lemon juice on this one, but I went in with a little tang from the, uh, from the Dijon. About medium heat on, um, on your monkfish pan right here. We have the rice gonna be on low. It is pre-cooked rice that I had done before. So, this monkfish will be finished with the cream sauce. We're gonna be putting the cream sauce into the rice as well, and then tying it all up when we plate. All right, once again, we have the, um, the koji, so the fermented soybeans and the rice on here. I'm here to impress my friends. And like I said before, one of my favorite textures when it comes to fish, almost like a lobster, nice and firm, but sears up really, really nice. And we are gonna be putting a top on these. I don't wanna burn anything, and I wanna keep uh, a little bit of that moisture in. Make sure they're not sticking on you. Top comes on here. We don't want too high of a heat on this cream sauce here. We don't want it to really uh, reduce too much. We just wanna add a little bit of uh, richness to that monk fish. I've done this dish a whole bunch of different ways. Swordfish works really nice with this. Uh, also done this on salmon. Once again, hot butter back in the pan here. We're gonna be adding our rice down. Turn down our heat just a tiny bit. We got that butter in first. We will go in with a little bit of our sauce.
You're gonna wanna save a little of this sauce to go on top of the monk fish, and we're gonna dress everything at the very end. Turn down the heat a tiny bit on my monk fish. Make sure you're not sticking there. Cover back up. We're just gonna watch all this. We put in our salmon skin back in our rice here. I brought the wasabi seaweed for a little spicy flair. We're gonna let this go about five more minutes, flip that monkfish, and tie it all up. So we had just flipped this monkfish, nice little sear on the one side, put a little bit of our cream sauce down, tiny bit more butter, and season throughout as we always do. Now, we're gonna be folding the salmon skin into the back rice here, also with some of our seaweed flakes at the very, very end. Save a little bit of your salmon skin to uh, garnish the rest of the plate. Monkfish almost done. Looks like we got about two more minutes on that. Folding this salmon skin back here. I'll bring my guests on out and chop it up. All right, not quite a double take, but we do have Marie and Maria. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, I appreciate it. Where are you coming from? Uh, Flemington, New Jersey. Flemington, Jersey. Very good. So I did meet Maria for the first time today, but me and Marie have a common denominator of kombucha. So she owns the kombucha shop in Flemington, New Jersey. Get over there. Delicious. Delicious. But right now it's time to eat some monkfish. <laughs> you guys smell it when you walked in? Oh yes. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> yeah, we're diving deep. We're diving deep. We hit the ocean. We got a little salmon skin and your... Um, crispy wasabi seaweed in finishing your rice. I did a cream sauce to tie it all in, so we got a little bit of butter, a little bit of heavy cream, uh, tamari, and a little bit of uh, Dijon. I'm gonna add a little fresh with some um, pickled vegetables that we did, some carrots and zucchini, a little fish sauce, white vinegar, and a little white sugar. Mm. All right, so first let's go down with a little bit of rice for you too. Yeah, you're gonna need something for that, that blizzard ride home today, oh, yeah, huh? Definitely, My gosh, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. All right, looking good. Get two nice pieces for everybody. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put down a little of the pickled vegetables. Finish this with a little bit of um, Korean chili flake and a little um, ground thyme, actually. Chili flake, uh, Korean chili flake, not too much of a heat, uh, but it does have a little smokery feel, almost like a smoked paprika. So, yeah. All right, time to drizzle it on down. This is the sauce we did with the, uh, we actually put a little fish flake in here as well. Give it that umami. Oh, so the, we're talking about good bacteria today. Yes. We have the um, fermented rice bean paste uh, that actually marinated the monkfish for about 15 minutes. Oh, wow. And that's really what draws out, um, I got it uh, from an idea from my buddy who does bone broth, but I got the idea, really draws out like the umami, almost like an MSG oh. that, uh, that's wow. good for it. So, yeah, yeah. I can't mm -hmm. wait to see. Exactly. Can't wait to try it. Let's go with a little sprinkle all over of our seaweed here. This is the wasabi seaweed snacks that you see in the store, but why not? We're gonna finish with a little salmon skin. This is in my trusty air fryer. I said air fryer earlier, these two, the eyes light up, so. I know, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> and what'd you say, you need a bigger one? I, I do, <laughs> I, do. I need awesome. a bigger one, yeah, That's I got awesome. air fryer. Yeah. Tiny, tiny. All right, a little salt and pepper to finish here. I went a little crazy with the seaweed flakes, but I hope you all enjoy. Yeah, that's you. 
Thank you, Sean. There you go. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. really good. Yeah, I appreciate you guys coming. Enjoy. Oh, yes. Chop it on up. It's time. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna okay. start with the monkfish. Okay. And there's a little kind of like a silver skin on the monkfish that you have to that you have to cut off a little bit, almost like the backside of a pork rib. Oh, you know? Okay. Yeah, not much of a uh, not much of a piece of good. fat, but yeah, yeah. Isn't it nice? I don't think I haven't tasted monkfish. You never had monkfish? No. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah, I, I was joking around earlier on the show. Oh my uh, God. Cool, right? This is amazing. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh my god. <laughs> they call it the poor man's lobster, and I said the hell with that. Yeah. No, but it's almost it's nice because it holds up in the pan really good. Mm -hmm. It's firm enough. Yeah, it does its thing. I Ooh. love it. It's yeah, tasty. It nice. Is it good? It, yeah. Wow. The flavor. So in the pan, um, as we were doing the monkfish, you'd pour over a tiny bit of the uh, the sauce, and then we finished it. We sweated a little garlic in it at the very, very end. So the sauce that goes on the monkfish, it gets a little bit more coagulated, a little browner, but it sticks up really nice, right? And now yeah. I'm gonna try oh the, the vegetables. Oh, it's just, yeah, it works well. It's just a little accompaniment, yeah. Oh my God. Nothing crazy, but yeah. A little this bit of sugar, really the fish sauce, and um, yeah, a little bit of uh, time to finish up, so. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we did. Let's see how we get on that rice. And the rice is so good. Rice is cool, right? The salmon. The salmon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crispy salmon's good. Mm hmm. On the air fryer? Yeah. Good stuff. I love the carrot. It's nice and crunchy and it's flavorful. Yep. You need that tang. You yeah. need that fresh. Now let me try the rice. Oh, you need to Yeah, the rice hits you. You don't know what it is. You might you think it's just. That's amazing. <laughs> I've eaten uh, monkfish before, but this is very flavorful. It tastes this. Oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. Really, really Glad you guys enjoy. <laughs> All right, everyone, looks like another one in the books. I want to thank you all for being with me. I want to thank my guests, Marie and Maria. Hope you all learned a few things today. Hope you all can adapt a few things. And until next time, stay blessed.